Good morning. I'm going to be taking off the well this morning on the old Akrapovic. I've managed to get a loan of a grinder from a, a friend. So, <laughs> I don't know about you, but I uh, watched years and years of American Chopper, Biker Build Off, programs like that, and I have always wanted to make some sparks. <laughs> Especially with uh, titanium, so they should be pretty good. I'm going to try and get some in the GoPro. We'll see how that turns out. A bit of fun. Um, the weld, it's a beautiful weld as usual. I'm going to try and take it off along here, and that should free up right across, and then I'll reverse the pipe and do the other side. And my plan is to lag this pipe up to about the tip here and then there's a if I just release this there's a mounting point there it's actually the bolt that holds the baffle in so that will leave me with a mounting point if I need it later on for attaching to the bike we'll see how it goes worst case scenario It'll make a nice candlestick holder. Head. I have some stainless steel tie ups but I can't find them. So I've ordered some more up from Amazon and they should be here tomorrow. I've got some uh, motorcycle wrap which I hear is a bit if it gets in your hands. So gloves on. Excuse me, guys. Gloves on. Let's grind right away. Let's just see what I'm doing with this. I'm bound to get it wrong, so I want to hide it, the start of it around this side. Just because that's the side that will be. Up against the back of the bike. I might actually try and reach this on the table somewhere. Life a little easier. There we go. Jesus, you think I knew what I was doing. Going. God, this is fiddling. Another, another one of those things you see them doing on TV and they make it look easy. There's probably a way to start it with that. There we go. 
this had a wee soak, so. Sorry about that. SD card was full. Rookie mistake. I've just decided I'll probably pay for it later, but I'm um, trying to do this without my gloves because they're just too bloody big. I've never done this before but I'm guessing if I can somehow tuck sorry if I can tuck that in here like that that's the look we're going for in fact yeah if I terminate it round the back I'm, I might get a bit see how it goes once my stainless steel tips oh fuck no that's the outside yeah I'll cut somewhere in here once the stainless steel jubilees well tie ups arrive but this will do for now Never be a custom bike, but, uh, but it's a bit of fun, isn't it? Tonight, I'm Jack of Bike Chopper. Mm, we're gonna pay for that. These up ones again. Okay, These old 25, pocket 28. Yeah, they have got the stainless steels on there. A pile of them. And that will shrink tighter, hopefully. Got the first custom KEM790. Who'd have thought? Yeah, this hasn't been an expensive build. I've only wrecked my flipping new lens cap and broke a phone. Tell the wife. She doesn't watch my videos anyway. Finally, some good luck. I knew I had stainless steel tie wrap somewhere, and they've turned up after a good rake about. So muffler's done, exhaust's done, and I'm going out to make some noise.
back with the Mad Max pipes. Now I am telling you guys what a difference, well you'll see in the video, but what a difference a voice makes to a bike. It just eggs you on. Um, what over the moon with how this turned out. I know, I know it's not like a brand new shiny aftermarket exhaust like the GP1 or something like that, but you know, I've rescued an old bike with a scuff on it, done something a bit different with it, and it literally, sorry about that, it literally is like a two minute swap to put the full acrophobic back on if I want a quiet trip somewhere because <laughs> it's a great pipe for a scratch or an hour or two out the road but I wouldn't fancy a wee tour on it I, wouldn't, I certainly wouldn't do the NC500 or something like that on it but oh, I am over the moon with it it's the voice that the Akrapovic should have had in the first place Not, I shouldn't have had to do this but it's done now. Tires getting there. A little bit to go yet. But the grip is there. It's you know, it's it gives you a lot of confidence now in the in the bends. I'm having a little scratch this afternoon, enjoying it again, starting to feel a lot more comfortable on the bike. It's so stable. I think it's just maybe a bit taller than I'm used to. So I just feel like I can't, <laughs> I feel like I am over and then yeah, come back and you've still got, <laughs> not even at the first line there. So I hope one day, I'll, I, I know I won't get to the edge, I've never been good at that, but hopefully get down to this second one here. That'll be a nice little present for me. Um, I can't recommend these tyres enough. They, they don't feel like a sports touring tyre, they feel like a... A proper full-on sports tyre. So if you're in the on the look for a good set of tyres, mate, I would go for these again. There's no doubt about it. They they ain't cheap, but they are good 